Hello, my YouTube friends, and good Tuesday after Labor Day morning. It is, um, <clears throat> I don't know, it's about 7.17. So I thought before I started my day, before I started my week, um, I would give you kind of an overview, um, a little run through of the stuff that I have on my desk. So I put in an order um, a couple weeks ago, maybe, maybe the first of last week. It came pretty quick, I feel like. Could have been the week before. But anyway, I did one order with Timu. I did an order with Nair, if you're not familiar with them. It's a donation company and I don't have those things yet. They haven't come. Um, but I just did a couple things from Amazon um, just some extra things that I needed, maybe a reorder of. Um, so I'll start with that because that's a pretty easy one. So magnets. The, these are, they're in the box, but they're the same as these. So I order these. I keep these all the time. I still have this many left, but I needed some more for some other things that I'm going to do at my math board. And that's how that I put my calendar or things that go on my board because it's magnetic and they're so easy and they really do stick very well and I don't have to worry about them falling off. And so they're cheap. They have good magnets on them. They have a little sticker that you stick on, almost like a glue dot, but like stronger. And so I use that. But if I run out of those, um, hot glue works perfectly fine. And then the other thing that I got from Amazon were these, you know, I was talking last week about the pop poppets um, for our reading and letters. So I have, I am going to have the low reading group when we get ready to start switching. We're getting ready to do testing this week. So until we get all of that, we won't actually switch, but we're gonna be doing lots of CBC words and lots of that pattern of the three, three letters. So I thought these were perfect and they're tiny and there's 24 of them. So there'll be enough for every one of my kids to have one. And this way they kind of are harder to pop They kind of, it, cause they're small. But I did notice that once they're popped this way, they really do pop very well the other way. So I thought that would be perfect. And like I said, that was a set of 24. And that's all that I ordered from uh, for here from Amazon. We put in some stuff for the house, but that was that was it for here. But Timu. So, I've not ordered from Timu before. My son orders, all my friends order. I heard all the bad stuff about stealing your stuff, you know, stealing your money and I'm just taking a chance. They had such cheap stuff for my classroom. We're just going to take a chance. So, I got some more sit spots. I think I mentioned before that I needed to find some more because I have both rooms and I needed to spread the wealth. So these were like super cheap and they're colorful. A little bit smaller, I feel like, than the ones I have, but it's fine. It doesn't, I mean, all you need to do is find this color and sit on it. So I think those will be perfect. I found this cute little game, which I would love to order another one. I might, um, mainly just so that I can have more of the smaller fly swats. So it's a swatting game and I use the big fly swats. I have them everywhere um, to hit words, smack words and that kind of thing. But these came with these little fish and on one side it has words and on the other side it has letters. So I thought that would be perfect with my uh, kids to you know, call out a word and they have to find it or it has to start with this letter. So perfect. And like I said, I may order another set just so that I can um, have the small fly swats. Um, the other one, I really like this and I think my kids will like just the tactility of it, I guess you could say. So it's just little flashcards. It's nothing really fancy, um, but I think they'll like the way these, these are wooden and I don't, you know, cause some kids are very sensory oriented and they like the way things feel. So these are just some little flashcards and they just find the one that is the answer, put it in there, they can write it on their whiteboard. I could actually laminate these 
and then they could actually write on these and wipe them off, so that might be an option too. But I thought that was good, and I think these were like, I mean, they were cheap, like less than $2 or something. Um, could have been up to three, but I'm, I know it wasn't much. Um, this is another, like a word, kind of reminds me of boggle, but like they're spelling words. And I, I'm pretty sure I used to have a game like this already, but it has all the letter die. And then with the cards, there's three letter cards, three letter words, I mean. And so they, you've probably seen these before. They take and flip that up. They put that here, put this down. They look at the picture and then they find those letters on the dies and then they can flip this up. So it's like self-checking. Did I spell it right? And then for the ones that are really having trouble, like I have a couple that are like even letter matching is difficult. So for those, I would just let them match and make the words as they're seeing it. Like they don't have to check, they can just make it. And that way they're getting the practice of how to spell those words. Um, and then I got these, I don't know what I'm gonna use them for yet. I didn't realize they're a little bit smaller than I thought, which is fine. But there's 14 of them, so, and myself and kids love little things, tiny things. So I thought these would be good for like letters, letter, um, like to make words and I could just pass these out, but there's 14 in here. So I may order another one just so that I can have a class set and have them all together. But inside the little container, and then I could just number them and they have them. You could also put numbers in there. So they have their number tiles, but I thought they were perfect and they just fit right inside their own little case. And then the last thing, which my kids will be ecstatic because we've been using pom-poms and this was a great deal. And I was super excited about this. So I needed some erasers. So I bought whiteboards this summer, but um, one pack of them came with the little erasers, my magnetic set but the other set didn't. So I gave out pom-poms to my kids and they're already so nasty and dirty. So these were on Timu. They're the little erasers and my kids will be so excited that they will be able to have big erasers to be able to erase, especially because we do use our whiteboards quite a bit during the day. Um, I will definitely up update you. Um, I've got some other great ideas that I wanna share with you this week. I'm going to be uploading our science experiment from last week, which my kids were over the moon about, and I had a really good time with it too, and we learned some really big words. So when I get all of those videos together and edited, I'll be uploading that, and I hope that you have an amazing Tuesday and that you do something incredible. Bye, guys.